you are, in fact, are a social organism. You're created by your environment. There's no you and there's no me. Once you begin to think about how everything you do has been taught to you one way or another, granted, you're putting things together and you're making decisions, but your decisions are limited to the information that's been given to you and that you've learned. So I'm a walking amalgam of a social engineering, so to speak. If I see myself as separate from everything else, that I could say is incorrect. For example, everyone knows they have to breathe. Through time, people will begin to understand that their integrity is only as good as the integrity of everything else around them. We've been living in a competitive society for too long, and in this, the world we see is the result, the ego, the competitive ego. What we have to do is learn how to cooperate and drop the ego and realize, again, that if we have people in one country that are very poor and people that are very wealthy, the wealthy are going to have to get big armies and big fences to keep those other people out. It's not going to work with the divisions of society that we have today and the stratification. We look at our economic crisis, we look at our ecological crisis, we look at our spiritual crisis, and we say, I don't, I'm not happy, society's not happy, what's wrong with us? So that is the trigger. We have to have problems to have solutions. Problems create creativity. There's no such thing as a problem. A problem is essentially a transition. So I see the crises of today as a transition point for humanity. I see them as not necessarily something that's out of the ordinary. The environment has to be changed so that we are supported in a way where we respect each other, while our value systems have to understand that we cannot survive any longer through our logical reasoning with the competitive mentality that's been perpetuated for so many generations. If the environment continues to reinforce this selfishness, it's going to be that much more difficult to climb out of it. So if we create an environment that helps us to have the courage to give, and it rewards and reinforces giving, then I think we'll move much more quickly into that type of bestowal mentality.